Hi, I'm Dr. Gary Goldenberg, dermatologist from New York City. And I'm Josh Zeichner, full-time faculty at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City. Today we both spoke about personal skincare products, and I started off specifically talking about shaving and also hair care. But before we begin with those topics, I think we can both agree that we as dermatologists are real skincare experts, and it's important for us to own the space and know everything there is to know about the space and make all the right recommendations to our patients so they're not looking out to other sources such as quote unquote skincare experts and bloggers and beauty magazines, but actually ask their board certified dermatologist all their skincare questions. Josh, wouldn't you agree with that? Yeah, and I think it's important for dermatologists to be really knowledgeable about what personal care products are out there so that we can help best answer our patients' questions when they come in and make best recommendations. So I started off with talking specifically about shaving. And we know that shaving is very important for both male and female patients. And there is a right way to shave. It's a five-step process. So step number one is heating up the skin with a hot towel or warm water. Then it's applying shaving cream or shaving gel. Then it's very important to select the right razor. And then it's cold water, close the pores. And then there's always a moisturizer or some sort of an aftershave that helps to soothe the skin after shaving. Selecting the right razor is very important. I specifically talked about a new razor called Skin Guard by Gillette that has a special way or special formulation where it cuts the hair close enough but does not tear the skin at the same time. Then I talked about hair care and specifically about danger for seborrheic dermatitis and there are two important products here. There's selenium sulfide and ZPT and they're both come in a brand called Head & Shoulders. But what's really important is they, they both balance the scalp microbiome because the scalp microbiome is the issue or one of the issues when it comes to dandruff and seborrheic dermatitis. And then I took over in the session discussing fabric care. We talk a lot about shaving and dandruff, moisturizers and anti-aging products, but as dermatologists we really do need to know about fabric care because the detergent that our patients use touch the skin and can impact skin health. So when you purchase a single detergent, it needs to be able to cleanse all your different type of clothing, regardless of what the, the fabric is made of, how it's constructed, what type of stains are on it, or regardless of the quality of the water in the area that you're living in. And there are many different types of detergents out there. Um, and perhaps the best ones for our patients are the ones that are labeled as free because they don't contain any fragrances or dyes. And it's important to know that there are actually huge differences in formulation of free detergents. And if you are hand washing your fabrics, perhaps consider one that has a neutral pH with enzymes as opposed to a free detergent that has a high pH.